Hey, welcome back to the Jordan Shoe Vault. Yes, we are here. Brand new video. I know it's been a long time. My name's Mark. Sorry for the long delay, but we are back with some shoes to look at today. Yes, it's been a while since we've done a video and I've missed all of you. I know we've reached 500 subscribers. That's pretty awesome. So thanks for all of that. You guys are amazing. Um, but it's been a while since we made a video. Why are you, why has it been a while? Well, I haven't been getting a lot of new shoes. So lately it's been tough for me as a collector to get shoes, the sneakers app, flex app, finish line, wherever. It seems like I can't get a W on anything. I've been trying and trying and I've missed out on a lot of shoes, like probably a lot of you on certain drops and certain releases and it's been tough. So I um, wanted to do some new videos and it's just been hard to get the shoes. Now, a lot of people have opinions on the systems out there, sneakers, flex app with all the shoe sites, whatever, bots and different things. And for me, it seems like the game has changed so much. It's hard for me to get a pair. I like to get pairs of shoes just to keep my collection growing. Um, I don't resell shoes. I just try to get them for my collection and for my vault, but uh, it's been hard, it's been tough. So been a little on and off on getting some shoes lately. So I thought, do I go back deeper into the vault, pull out some old ones and bring those up? Or do I wait and see what I can get um, as we keep moving forward? So I just been kind of sitting, no excuses, but I want to get some videos made for you guys. So thanks for watching. As we go forward, if I can't keep getting newer shoes, I'm going to go back into my vault and look at some old classics and bring those out for you as well. But I'm excited today. Got a pair of shoes I want to look at, take a look at. I haven't really looked at them yet, but I want to show them to you guys. Many of you have seen it. This is box right here. It's the Midnight Blue Air Jordan 3. So let's take a look at these bad boys. Here you go. Look at this box. Air Jordan 3 Retro Midnight Navy, excuse me, Midnight Navy. First off, not your traditional box. You see some boxes around me, different Air Jordan boxes, but this one's unique. It's got the Navy um, Navy box. It's got the white jump in it. It's got the elephant print on the end of the box. So I'm gonna say, first off, when I opened it, got these, I opened the, the, the shoeing box, saw this shoe box. I thought, well, that's pretty cool. Um, Air Jordan 3 Retro, Midnight Navy White. So there you go, size 12. These are official. So let's take a look at these. Now, why is it so cool? Why do I like Air Jordan 3s? Air Jordan 3s are very special to me. It was the very first pair of Jordans I ever owned. So love the Air Jordan 3. It's going to have a special place in, in my heart, this pair or this silhouette of shoes. So let's take a look. Here you go. Open the box. Cool elephant print um, tissue paper. Let's take a look at this. There we go. The Air Jordan 3, the Air Jordan 3 Midnight Navy shoe. Um, what's cool, I've noticed first off, it comes with a pair of navy laces. It comes laced with the white one. So you have both options there. But let's take a look at Tinker Hatfield's masterpiece, the Air Jordan 3. Many of you know the Air Jordan 3. It's the first one to have the Jumpman logo on the shoe. Um, it was one that took the Nike off, but I mean, in the originals, you had Nike Air on the back, the swoosh at least, but uh, really predominant, got rid of the Wings logo and brought the Jumpman, and it brought out this elephant print. That was a huge deal on the Air Jordan 3. So, love the Air Jordan 3. So let's take a look. To me, I, I love the silhouette again, like I said, it always holds a special place in my heart. First off, I gotta say, I love it when it's Nike Air on the heel, but a lot of the retros, especially retros like this, have the Jumpman and the Air on the back, which is okay. I'm not, I don't hate it, but I do like the Nike Air better, but I understand why they do it on these. Now, what's so cool about this? This is almost like a PE or a player exclusive colorway or a school colorway exclusive, because um, it kind of matches the Georgetown, it's been nicknamed the Georgetown 3s, um, the Georgetown Hoyas, and it's on their color blocking, their color scheme. But let me just give you straight up what I call these shoes and why I was very interested in these at first. I, as you can see in my shirt, am a Dallas Cowboys fan. 
Don't leave too many comments about that. But I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan, so when I saw these, I immediately thought Cowboys colors. So I love the look because it matches Dallas Cowboys, and I could wear this with Cowboys jerseys and different things like that. So that's where I went first. So I'll refer to them as the Cowboys threes. How about that? Cowboys threes. Um, all the the, the uh, looks are here. The elephant print. It's got the see-through air unit in the heel. It's got Jordan on the um, sole instead of Nike, but the typical Air Jordan 3 rubber sole. Um, I, I like the leather upper here. I think it's pretty nice. It's got like a almost a suede kind of feel or another on the tongue. So that's a different, um, kind of a different look and feel that I wasn't anticipating. I like the blue lace look, that's kind of cool. I may try it with the, the navy laces at some point, but I, I think they did a good job. I'm a fan, um, like I said before, the Air Jordan 3. So this is a, a pretty good get for me. I'm glad I was able to finally get a W and, and uh, get a hold of these. Um, I know this probably because the ones that came out, the university uh, ones were harder to get and they're still blowing up on resale. Um, but for me, I like the look. It, anytime a three comes out, I, I really enjoy them. They're close to my heart, my first pair I've ever had. So Air Jordan 3 Cowboys Midnight Navy Edition. What are your thoughts? You like the color, the blocking, it's different with the navy and the gray. I like the elephant print that they kept in there. That looks sweet. Um, what are your thoughts on the Air Jordan 3? Do you like this pair, Air Jordan 3s? I mean, so many iconic things happened. I'm obviously, the, the uh, dunk contest in Chicago when uh, Jordan won, he was wearing Air Jordan 3s. Um, so a lot of cool things in these and really turned the corner for the Air Jordan line as well, right? When uh, he was on the, Jordan was on the fence after where the twos and then the threes came and it just totally took off the Air Jordan line, starting with the Air Jordan 3. So yeah, what are your thoughts on this? What do you think? Do you think they did a good job? Do you, do you hate it because you think it's a Georgetown color? You hate it even more because I said it's a Dallas Cowboy color? But uh, what are your thoughts on the Air Jordan 3? Did you pick these up as well? Um, are they going to be in your rotation? You're going to wear them? I'm thinking that I may wear this pair of Air Jordans, and that's a huge thing for me. I don't wear many Air Jordans anymore. Um, I keep a lot of them dead stock, but uh, these are ones that I may have to wear. I'm a big fan of the color scheme. So, yeah, what are your thoughts? Do you like the Air Jordan 3s? Are these something that you will pick up? I'm, but I like the look of the 3. It's clean. I even go for the navy. Like I said, it's the Cowboys colors. Um, the box looks sharp. It looks pretty cool. A little different uh, feel there. So let me know your thoughts on the Air Jordan 3s down below. And uh, if you like them, um, if you're going to pick them up, what's your thoughts and what you're going to do um, with these shoes? So. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of the Jordan Shoe Vault. Glad you were here. Glad you checked it out. Glad I'm back making videos. So please make sure you subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Hit the bell icon so you'll be notified every time um, I make a video. And while you're here, you might as well check out some of the other videos. I've got some other stuff going on around here. You can check out some of my classics from the Air Jordan shoe vault that I have. Even back to the shoes that aren't so well known and liked. So take a look at some of those videos and let me know your thoughts. But hey, see you next time.